Good morning, folks. This is NASA's four-year anniversary video for the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. Some of the best clips we've shown come from the LRO. we got some great shots in this much longer video linked for you below. Back at Fukushima, this is a continuation of yesterday confirming the radioactivity discovered in the groundwater. Not far away, another major blunder as an exhaust fan that was removing leaked radiation from inside the plant was supposed to stop polluting it out for the rest of us, but somehow didn't get the order. I suppose most of you have seen this by now. Popocatépetl volcano erupted violently, and we have also had an eruption at the Manam volcano in Papua New Guinea. A major drought has hit Bolivia. It is at disaster levels and widespread. NOAA has issued warnings for near-record expected Gulf dead zones this year. They are yearly occurrences, but this might be worse than usual. Got two tropical storms, first one headed for the southern Japan coastline, and the other is lingering in the southwest Gulf of Mexico, set to try her hand at landfall once more. That low over Spain and France is moving east tonight and tomorrow. We'll make it to Italy and Germany. Had a tornado drop in Northland last night, seeing more of those. A heat wave in Alaska is a function of high pressure cell being fed by the stream northward over western Canada. Just south of that, you see the storms are pretty intense, and that happens when you have a low straddling the border and yanking warm energy from way down south. Expect that energy to make more storms tonight. Solar wind. We have minor rising of the orange density, yellow speed, and green plasma temperature. But I'll point out a single point density spike way, way, way above all the others. The magnetosphere simulation is using only a solar wind data. Nothing actually monitors field lines. So yes, that spike you see there was the little density peak. This happened yesterday as well in the 4 o'clock hour. People claiming that this model shows scary things don't seem to understand that it all comes from here. Everything on that sim is part of the solar wind data. Unless, of course, NASA snuck it in there for you, right? <laughs> Flaring still taking his time to come up to speed, actually popping a large sea flare this morning, but it was sadly not one of the Earth-facing sunspots. You may notice a new active region on the disk. She popped up yesterday morning and is pretty feisty for such a small package. Southern sunspots appear decayed from yesterday, not as well mixed magnetically, but the trailing Delta class magnetic region is still strong. I have no idea why NOAA is ignoring it in their classifications. Not that these things have been flaring majorly recently, but the magnetics mixed inside that penumbra are not an insignificant solar feature. Jupiter is set to go perfectly behind the sun today in a conjunction eclipse. Mercury and Venus geocentrically conjoin in two days, followed two more days later by the full supermoon less than one hour from the annual close approach to Earth. Largest umbral openings and coronal holes set to be dead center here. We are in the mid-watch downturn after initial uptick to start the watch. Galapagos quakes yesterday might signal an American coastline uptick. And also, if you somehow managed to miss it a few hours ago, I put out a review video last night called The Solar System is Changing. Check it out if you need to catch up. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.